Hi, this is David, and this is a tutorial on swing and walking bass in Sonic Pi. A recent comment suggested that I make more videos on how to achieve different styles of music in Sonic Pi. In this video I will cover some key aspects of jazz, and let me know in the comments what style you would like me to cover next. One of the most iconic aspects of jazz is the swing, that is usually played on a right cymbal and notated as a quarter and two eighth notes. The two eighth notes are more like eighth note triplets, and a good approximation is 0.7 and 0.3. This is not exactly triplets, but it sounds good. Now that we have a swing, let's go to the walking bass. Now for a walking bass line you need a chord progression, and the chord degree function makes it easy to notate this progression by just saving the chord degrees in a ring. And to establish the harmony, I have a piano sound playing just the chords. And so the progression just on piano without bass sounds like this. So now I will go through the notes that the walking bass plays and explain how it works. So the walking bass plays four quarter notes and they have different roles, and I'm going to explain them one by one. The first note that the walking bass plays in a bar is usually the root of the chord in that bar, and you get the root like this. You take the chord degree function, give it the degree that is saved in this ring, and then this is the key we are in. And by default this creates a ring of four notes, and the index zero is the root. Now going to the third note, the walking bass still stays on this chord, but now it can play the third, fifth and seventh of this chord. And because the chord degree function returns by default a seventh chord, we can access the third by using an index of one. The fifth is on the index two and the seventh is on the index of three. So we put these in a ring, randomize that and use it as the index. The second note that the walking bass plays has a little more freedom and again this uses the chord degree function and the last parameter, this 5 here, means that this chord now includes the root 3rd, 5th, 7th and 9th. And now it sounds like this. So the last note is different, because it doesn't play a note from the chord that we are in, in this bar. Instead, its job is to lead to the next chord. So instead of just looking up the chord, we use an index and the look plus one to get the next chord in the progression. Then again we take the root, and then to lead to that root that we are going to play is the first note of the next bar, and so to approach that next root we can go one or two half steps down or up. Again, this is randomized. And now the full walking bass sounds like this. And there you have a swing rhythm and a walking bass. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and subscribe for more Sonic Pi tutorials. I will put up these code examples over on my blog and I will post the link to that in the description. Thank you for watching.